Why do I dye my hair black? I like everything black. My clothes, my hair, my men's hair. Welcome back to my channel for another video and this time I'm doing something a little different. I typically do this but not on camera. I am dyeing my hair jet black. I'm like, oh, why do you dye your hair? It's already black. Well, it's actually brown. <laughs> it's actually dark brown and let's see. All the years of dyeing my hair different colors and all the things. One day I was like, I want my hair to have like some shine to it. I want this black to kind of pop. And so that's why I dye it. I don't do this too often. I probably haven't done it in like a year. Definitely didn't do it during quarantine. Um, but I, but it does, it like rejuvenates your color and makes it kind of shine and pop. Even if you think your hair is black, our hair really isn't black, but my hair is pretty dark, but I notice a difference. Hopefully you will too. The only dye, Hear me when I say this. The only dye I use is a door. Years ago, I discovered it from this girl on Instagram. Oh my God, I'm blanking on her name, but she had like green highlights and I was like, oh, that's so cute. What, what dye do you use? And she was like, a door. It is vegan, it is cruelty free. It doesn't have alcohol in it. No peroxide, no amina. Aminas? I don't know. No alcohol, like I said. And it is just only the dye that I trust. Um, and I've used all of the colors, the pink, the green, the blue, the jet, the black blue, <laughs> and now the jet black. And so they have a full range if you were someone that actually wants to dye your hair a different color. So the directions say to shampoo and towel dry, um, and then apply it to your hair, comb it through, leave it on for 15 minutes with heat if you want, and then wash it off. I typically don't use heat, like I'll put a towel over or whatever. So yeah, let's go. Some people mix it with conditioner. I'm not gonna do that because I don't think this is drying. It pretty much is kind of moisturized already, but I am using a glove. I can't find the other glove. I can't stand that. When you go to do something and you just can't find your glove. So here's my hair, yes. I feel like you're gonna be like, well, it's already black. It is. It is dark. It's not black, but it's dark. But this just gives it something else. Oh, okay. Fail. You acting like this is the first time you use this. Look at that. Look at that. It looks so pretty. And believe it or not, black actually fades. Like I can tell that it's not as popping. I really need to find this other glove. Maybe I need to switch hands. As popping as when it like is getting old. I was tempted to get blue black, but I don't really, it don't really give what it's supposed to give, you know? So here we go. There might be a more sophisticated way to do this, but that's not how I do it. <laughs> I literally do it like this and detangle with it. Oh my God, it smells so good. I've missed this smell. It washes out your clothes and your hands. So I just got a fresh man though, which is why I am still gonna protect my nails, but I'm not worried about any parts that might drip, drip. Look y'all, look, it already looks different. No, you can't see it? I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Why is she dyeing her hair? I'm not ready to bleach my hair again with a fun color. And so this kind of allows me to get like a different shiny look, feel like rejuvenated without, now it's on my sink, without, you know, the bleach. Because if you're new here, I have had multiple different highlights in my hair. I will insert pictures, but I first started off with like a blue, and I had purple, and then the blue would fade to green, and then I added some pink, and then I did like a red, all from a door. So let's see now. I feel like that's much 
brighter than the other sides of my hair. Let's see if we can do a quick comparison. See, look, look. And yes, I know, it's still in my hair. So it's, of course, like darker on application. But look how this gives you like this dry, dull color. And this is like bright and vibrant. I'm definitely gonna get some dye on my hands. I saw somebody do this in college. Side note, my mom always dyes her hair black and my grandma. So they like, they're like, you can't let your grades show because we dye our hair. But I like it just like, it's like, ooh, what products did you use? Nothing, girl, I just dyed my hair. All right, <laughs> stop talking and put music over this. All right, here's the reveal. Hopefully you see the magic that is black hair. Oh, get into it. I don't know if y'all can tell the difference on camera, but you know who can tell the difference? Me. <laughs> it just, wait till I style it though, like, and I let it on, you know how we don't follow directions. I left it on for like an hour. But even still, like, I'm gonna try to do clip back up. But see, like I put, like the ends don't look dingy. This is nothing on it. Wait till I put some conditioner, some product, style her. <laughs> um, I hope, I hope it translates the same, but yeah, it just makes, it just, it just, like, what else can I say? So another reason I use Adore is because um, you don't have to mix it. Like, with box dyes, you have to mix the developer and the color together. Adore comes ready for you. And she's for the low. Well, I think she was like $4.99. When I first started using a door, I could only get it on Amazon, but now I can find it at my local beauty supply. So she's bae, and it's Amina, Amino? No, Amino. I don't know what the word is, but it ain't in there. So this is the dye you wanna use if you choose to dye your hair, because why do I dye my hair black? I like everything black, my clothes, my hair, my menses. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm a style. It feels moisturized, but it needs more. I mean, I did put dye in my hair, so I'm gonna follow up with, you already know, or you should, with my trusty, dusty, whatever's left of this leave-in um, for Melanin Hair Care and do some type of style, probably a twist out. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so maybe I'll do some mini twist. But I feel like I can already tell. Like, look at the white against, so it just pops. Um, and it looks healthier and it has some shine to it. Oops, I forgot to die. Um, as far as like transfer, you have to wash it out like with the water completely rinses clear. And I know that that feels like, well, duh, but see how that's going already? Um, but that way it won't transfer on your pillow, on your clothes, like, it's like it wasn't even there. It's gone, just like that. So 
Um, make sure you do that if you do use this dye. I can't speak for other dyes. I feel like there is sometimes like some residue left on your fingers or whatever. Um, I washed my hands a few times with the Pomolive. Oh, why can't I pronounce things? Whatever it is that I use to wash my dishes, I feel like that works the best for getting out because there was some dye on my forehead. There was a little bit left on my my nails. You know, I was not trying to get on my gel mani, but they were there. So that works the best um, for getting dye out. But yes, she's shiny. She's healthy. She's black. And I'm excited. So I... We'll catch y'all in the next one. I'm going to just twist her up off camera. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know if it looks darker, but to me, I can notice a difference. Especially within my roots, because I have a few grays that like to pop up. It's black.